Andrew Bailey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure to be talking on this taxation, business tax, exchange of information, and remedial matters bill, third reading. Uh, and it's also great to hear that uh, all parties in Parliament are supporting this excellent bill. Um, as we've all heard, it, it has four key uh, aspects. First of all, to make tax paying uh, easier for businesses, which uh, for business owners is absolutely essential. So just to recap on that, for existing um, uh, payment methods, which involves provisional tax and terminal tax, what we've done in this bill is actually removed or increased the use of money interest uh, and increased the safe harbour provisions from 50,000 to 60,000. But we've also removed in this bill the uh, penalties around use of money for a provisional, the first two provisional t payments. So that's for um, taxpayers choosing to use the existing uh, payment system for their tax. But the major change is really the um, the new accounting income method, which actually allows people to pay their tax uh, such as they do with uh, GST as they go, which personally I think is a very good um, proposal and a fantastic initiative to all those 500,000 small businesses in New Zealand. The second one is about uh, second aspect of the bill, the main aspect is about the automatic exchange of financial accounting information on tax matters. Um, we have uh, picked up some of the issue and recommendations. We are moving to um, uh, implement them as fast as possible. But the two key changes in this part of the bill is about requiring foreign trusts to be registered with the inland revenue when they're established and allowing the inland revenue to actually um, check with other agencies uh, regarding their um, stature. And secondly, requiring foreign trustees of a foreign trust to file an annual return. Now, all those, there's a whole lot of uh, specific uh, recommendations and requirements. I certainly covered this in the second reading, but they are very, very specific and entail a lot of um, detail that needs to be updated regularly on an annual, year, annual basis. So I think the striking the balance around that's been really important. The third part is around the deployment of stuff one of inland revenue. Most people don't know the scale of it. It was originally going to be about a $1.8 billion project. It's now going to uh, project to be uh, costing under a billion dollars. There's four stages to it. This bill deals with the first stage um, and just making that able to be happen uh, and uh, to enable that from a statutory perspective. It, um, it, at the moment, there's a rollout of GST coming on the first part or first stage of the um, IRD platform, which is great to see. And of course, um, when this uh, whole program comes to pass and completed and implemented, it will provide a much um, better uh, connectivity between the IRD and taxpayers. And of course, the last one is around the uh, foreign uh, trust disclosure rules. And obviously, there's been a lot of debate about this in Parliament. Personally, I think we've struck a good balance uh, between what uh, we think is um, absolutely required and the, uh, the issue of perception. And I think where we've ended up will hold New Zealand in good stead, stead internationally in terms of being seen as a very um, good place uh, for business. But of course, we are um, number one in terms of the least corrupt country in the world. And that just reinforces the, um, that position. And I think this bill does that and supports it and underpins it. And on that basis, Mr Speaker, I commend this bill to the House.